wondering if I got something somewhere it's usually forever 21 or H&M unless it says like Moschino or something and obviously I got it from Moschino this is just gonna be an update because this is some hair that I've gotten a crazy amount of uh, requests to do an update on and I will have a update week actually coming I think it's uh, in May for a lot of my like top axed hair that I've reviewed how is it held up is it still as good as it when I got it that whole thing so this hair you guys remember I actually had and I still have the hair I'm going to get up here so you guys can actually see how long it is it's still 40 inches this is just one side that is the other side um and this is not the same frontal that I had when I originally reviewed this hair so keep that in mind this is actually from another company. So, I'm not gonna say the company right now because it's like a, a, I mean, it's like a competition company, so I'm just not gonna say that. But, while I still do have the original frontal, I just didn't, it didn't work for me. For at least, especially for this, because this frontal is a 13 by six, so it's way more party space than the one I had originally. So, to the hair. This is their 40 inch Brazilian virgin hair. And this is their straight texture. So I get close, as you guys probably seen in my intro as well. This is the exact same hair. I have wore this hair on many occasions since I've reviewed it. And I have some more things to say about it since. So I did that review back in June. So it's almost coming up on a year since I've had this hair. So I'll pull this side forward so you guys can actually see how long it is on each side. And the reason why this... Okay. The reason why this actually was sparked, I believe, is because you guys know that Miss Nicki Minaj decided to come out. Some people were saying it's 60, some people were saying it's 50. Nicki's shorter than me, and I'm five foot four. She's five foot two. And at five foot four, when I stand straight up, this actually comes to the back of my knees. Hers come to her thighs. So Nicki is most likely wearing 40 or 45. Okay, she's not wearing 50 inches. I can guarantee it's not. And maybe it's because it was body wave-ish. I don't know. So a lot of people have asked me how how has this like kept up, especially because it's so long. How have it kept up as far as shedding goes? I every now and then I'll get like a nice amount of hair, but it's nothing that has changed, I guess you could say, th the the thickness, the fullness of it, because this is the same hair, it's just a different frontal, but even then, it's still full. Like, it's, this is a lot of hair, and it's, it's it's got some weight on it, too, because I believe that I have four bumps. So, yes, this is four 40s, and it is a lot of hair, guys, <laughs> as you can see. And I will say this, that this hair does not like to stay straight. And I mean, like, there's another company that I've reviewed and I've raved about their straight hair because I believe it is like the best hair ever. And that hair, if they had made that hair in 40, I would be great. But because this hair is, I would believe that this hair is virgin. And the reason why I would believe that is because of the poofiness that I get at the ends. This you seen this on Nikki's hair too. It's because it's very hard to keep this hair straight as possible because it is so long. This is definitely, like I said, this is photo shoot hair. This is video shoot hair. This is not everyday hair. I've tried to wear this hair twice on an everyday basis and I got my feelings so hurt. Um, you guys know I wore this to Moschino Fashion Show and then I actually wore this like a dummy because I wanted to feel like a Barbie to the beach. Yeah, all the sand in my hair. So yeah, you gotta just be careful because you will sit on this hair. You will you 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 could use the bathroom on this hair. You know you don't want to don't wear this to the club and get drunk and then you sit your butt on the toilet and you sit your hair in that toilet too. That ain't what you want. So as far as the shedding goes, like I said, you get very minimal. It's not a lot. 
but I definitely get some. As far as the frontal goes, the reason why I decided not to use it because this one is a, a 20 inch frontal is because when I cut that hair, as you guys probably noticed in this area, it was pretty blunt almost and that's because I had got a new pair of shears and if you guys hear weird noises, it's because the dogs are playing. I got some new shears and I wasn't used to how sharp they were so I had to, like we were going to the fashion show, I made the wig, <laughs> then like the night before put it on or was it like a week before I think I made it beforehand but I didn't try it on or, or cut it or anything into some layers so what ended up happening I don't remember what it was a while ago I don't remember what exactly happened during that time but I remember actually just cutting it like oh my god so that's why it was a bit blunt in that initial review that I did so I decided to switch out the frontal for that reason and also because I wanted a frontal that was a, a bit longer in the parting area as far as the dying process of this I just would not I would not I, and the reason why I would not because it's a lot of work this is a whole lot of work to be dying some hair y'all like if you want to do it by all means it'll take color like a like a G but good luck to you in your pockets because that's a lot of bleach so yeah I, I I'm still in love with the hair I think it's great it definitely makes me feel like a Barbie they put a lot of unattractive screenshots on the Aliexpress store of me like I gave y'all some pictures use those but they got I'm like like, I hate when Aliexpress companies do that, but whatever, it's your hair, do what you want to do. I did trim it a little bit, it's still the same. I just literally like did the ends just so that the ends wouldn't be so brassy and like, you know, you need to trim your, your weave before you put it in. And at that time I didn't have time to do it when I did that review, so I just didn't. Um, but yeah, and I wish they, see the thing about this, and let me just, this right here, you see, Hold on. You see how this is such a big difference because this is 20 and this is 40. I wish they would make a frontal that a 13 by a 6 frontal at that. I wish they would make a 13 by 6 frontal that would actually go with this. So if I did a dead set middle part, my hair would be all one length. I don't like the fact that I have no choice in this hair but to actually have to layer it. And I don't want it because if I layer it like I want to, this is going to go from a, a 40 to a 30 real quick. So, I don't want to do that because if that's the case, it defeats the purpose. I can go just get some 30 inch hair. I didn't cut off 10 inches of hair because, you know, when you layer something, you have to do, even when you do long layers, you're still going to take a lot of it out, especially when you want to curl it. So, that's the only thing I say, well, the only hang up that I don't like is the fact that the frontal, because my last frontal from actually them was 20 inches as well, is just a big difference in between the two. And I don't really like that. I wish that, now that's what Nikki does have on me. Um, that whoever did I don't think she has a frontal though I think she just has a um she has a weave so she good everything is, is even so I mean I'll work because at the time I wasn't doing like kind of the grading process I would still give this a 9 out of 10 because of the reasons why I just told you that's the only thing the hair is still really good I know a lot of you guys have went to buy the hair it was sold out I just checked their site there should be some 40 inch there and I'm tempted by myself to go buy like two more bundles and um just do I'm about to get ignorant. That's all. Out to West Kiss Hair because they did a great job with this 40 inches. Just, I personally, just one more thing. I personally would have wished that this hair was treated. If it was treated bone straight, I would be in heaven right now. That's the only thing about this that I really don't like. No matter how much you flat iron is, whether you use an electric flat iron, Marcel irons, this hair is just still gonna have that poofy look after a while because the elements are gonna uh, kick in. If it didn't and it was treated, girl, I could wear this in a fog and just get crazy with it. You know what I'm saying? But I can't. Um, so yes, that's that's my update for this. If you guys have any questions about this particular hair, please feel free to put them below. Um, and you can snap me if you are not, don't ask on YouTube or Instagram, you know, it's answer. So I will catch y'all in my next one.